Hello, this is Andy Ford, and today we're going to look at making a countdown timer using expressions in After Effects. Here I have a text layer. I just wrote the number zero, but that doesn't matter because we're going to use a slider to control this value. So we'll go to Effects, Expression Control, Slider Control. Then we'll troll down on our layer. We'll option click on the Mac or Alt click on Windows at the Source Text Stopwatch to add an expression. We'll type in a variable name. Let's just use slider equals and then we'll pick whip to the slider value on our effect. So now you can see that the text changes to whatever our slider value is. Now we need to make a variable for our seconds and for our minutes on our timer. Let's start with seconds. We'll make a name for our variable. Let's just use sec equal sign. And I'm going to use the math.floor function. That's math with a capital M period floor. And in parentheses, we're going to write slider to use our slider variable and then the modulus, which is the percent sign in After Effects, and then 60, close parentheses, semicolon. We chose 60 because there are 60 seconds, and what the modulus is going to do is basically every time our slider value gets to 60, it's going to start it back over again. That's exactly what we want for a seconds timer. Now the modulus sort of functions like absolute value. It should return whole numbers usually, but I've noticed there are some cases where it doesn't always do that. So I add in the math.floor to ensure that we're getting nice whole numbers with no weird decimal point and other numbers after that since this is a timer. For minutes, we'll make a variable. I'll just use min equals. Again, we're going to use the math.floor. And this time in parentheses, it's slider divided by 60. And that's because every time the slider gets to 60, we want to have the counter for the minutes go up by one. Now, if I type in min plus, and then in quotes, I'll put in the colon, and then plus sec, you'll see here the basic format for our timer. But we have a problem here when the seconds are between zero and nine, we don't have a zero in front of it. It's just one digit and that looks weird. So we need a function for that. So in our expression, we'll make a function, then a name for our function, let's just call it zero. And in parentheses, we need a value, let's just use x, squiggly bracket, and then we're going to use an if else statement. So if parentheses x is less than 10, because we only want to add the zero when the seconds is between zero and nine, not after 10, then type return, then put a zero in quotes, and then plus x. And so this means that if the value is less than 10, we're going to add a zero plus the number. Then we'll type else, return x, right? So if it's 10 or over, as in if it's 10 to 59 seconds, we just want to see the value, no need to add a zero. Close your bracket and now you have a function. Now nothing changed yet because we have to add the function name below. So we need to type in zero and then put the sec variable in parentheses. And now you'll see that when the seconds is between zero and nine, a zero is there and then it doesn't affect the seconds when it is 10 or higher. If you want to do the same for minutes, add a zero in front of the minutes, you can put zero and then put the min in parentheses, and now you have it working that way. And so now we can set a keyframe for our slider value, and we can make this count down. I'm just going to compress time here for the sake of the video. So with our timeline at zero, I'll set a keyframe for 180 on the slider control, which is three minutes, and then I'll move to three seconds on the timeline and I'll set a keyframe for zero. So this will obviously run really fast, but you'll see how this counts down. So play around with that and make a countdown timer that suits your needs. Thank you.